suspensory ligaments of the lens. And the, yes, obviously the suspensory ligaments of the human eye lens, right? So um, before going into the textual thing, let me write, sorry, let me draw uh, the figure here. So let me use the black paint, okay? Mm. Yes, suppose um, this is your iris, okay? This is your iris. And here comes the ciliary process part of your ciliary body. And yes, this is, what is this? This is a part of uvular tract. And this is the, you know, this is iris, this is ciliary body, and this is choroid, right? After ora serrata, your choroid starts. So what actually happens is, and yes, yes, here is your lens. Before you start complaining me for not drawing your lens, <laughs> I'll draw a lens here, yes. Uh, uh, you can see, you can notice here, I made the posterior surface a little bit more curved because the, the radius of curvature of the posterior surface of the lens is a little bit lesser, as I have mentioned already in the previous lecture. Right now, uh, this is the aura serrata. From the aura serrata, from the aura serrata, all the way through this ciliary body to the you know edge of the lens comes your uh, you know suspensory ligaments. All right? Yes, and uh, you know. As I have told in the lecture of the evil tract, the evil tract, uh, or as, uh, yeah, more precisely, the ciliary body portion is divided into two parts. That is the anterior two millimeter part that consists of finger-like projections. That is ciliary processes. It's called pars plicata, and the posterior plane portion which is about four millimeter in length is called pars plana right so uh, why I'm mentioning here this is uh, the portion of the you know ciliary uh, sorry the suspensory ligament that lines the pars plana is called pars auricularis okay the portion of the you know uh, suspensory ligaments of the lens that lines the pars plana is called you know pars orbicularis and the portion of the suspensory ligament that lines uh, the pars plicatalier uh, including the you know uh, ciliary the space between the ciliary processes uh, is called pars uh, sorry, jonular, jonular plexus, right? And yes, and this portion, this portion of the jonular ligaments, or sorry, suspensor ligaments, is called pars orbicularis, and the portion of the suspensor ligament covering this pars plicata is the uh, jonular plexus, and the third one, the part of the suspensor ligament. Uh, um, beyond the jonular plexus, beyond the you know pars plicata, is simply called jonular forks because you can see here these are extending like forks, right? Uh, yes, I hope you are understanding this. The portion of mm, uh, this much portion up to here, this is called pars orbicularis. The portion of the suspensory ligament lining the pars plana is pars orbicularis, and the portion lining the, you know, this uh, all the way from here to here. Uh, yes, this is called um, jonular plexus, as I have already written here. And the third part is the jonular fork. Okay, you can see here jonular fork like thing. Uh, 
and by this figure <laughs> by this funny figure by this funny you know close figure I, I just wanted to uh, point out this fox okay anyways um, yes suspensory ligaments is divided into parts orbicularis genular plexus and genular fox and the pars orbicularis is a part of the suspensor ligament lining the pars plana and genular plexus is the part of the suspensor ligament lining the ciliary body and the spaces between the you know ciliary processes and genular fork is a part of the suspensor ligament beyond the genular plexus you can see here now this genular forks you can see here are three different you know branches um, before changing from the genular plexus to genular forks uh, you know suppose um, you know this is your uh, sclera and uh, and this is your uh, ovara serrata right and from the ovara serrata uh, on, on the suspensory ligament extend, extends like this right and uh, as it comes uh, near the uh, iris uh, it bends into uh, at 90 degree angle right and it divides it divides into three different um, projections right it divides into three different group or bundle and then you know it goes to posterior part of the lens it goes to middle part of the lens and it goes to anterior part of the lens so the fibers the bundle of fibers that goes to the anterior portion of the lens is named as anterior limb anterior limb and the portion or the bundle of fibers that lines the posterior uh, sorry it goes to the posterior part of the lens is called posterior limb and the middle one is called equatorial limb equatorial limb as some examiner wants there is one is one their student to be more precise so you can add here uh, you know journaler <laughs> journaler limb anterior journaler limb posterior journaler limb okay and uh, some book says you know the anterior general limb is around 1.5 millimeter uh, you know in front of the equatorial limb and the posterior limb is around 1.25 millimeter away from the equatorial limb 